Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. I'm here with uh, my, my good friend, Andy Lee. Andy, you're, you're charge, Paddy Donovan. Now, I remember doing, I was in Belfast, it was his debut. I done an interview, you and Paddy, and you told me he's the next best thing. He's the real deal. Do you think he's proven it tonight? Uh, listen, he's beaten a journeyman, <laughs> like who's come a long way from Argentina. Um, but it, it's not the result, it's the style and, and the fashion he goes about his work. I think people can see it, the potential there. Um, so, yeah, it's all early doors, but I, I'm very excited about him. You said it's early doors, but he, he seems to be... Is he hard to match then? Because you meant he was a tough journeyman there. He's, he's doing this with ease now. He's not getting... We've not seen him in any ad adversity. We've not seen him getting pushed back. We've not seen him get clipped on the job. We've not seen him... No, he's had some hard fight. He fought like... Um, oh... The second fight in Birmingham. Was that the one in Birmingham class? He fought... Um, oh, Jerome... Oh, his last two fights have been pretty tough. Pretty tough fights. Guys who one of the guys fought Victor Pastel in the fight yeah. previous, and um, I'm very sorry your name, you're out there. Is that an MTK Bolton show? Was that that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's fought two hard fights, but in his last fight, he injured his hand, and um, his uncle, William, unfortunately recently passed away. Um, so it was a tough time for him, and I, we were going to go to six rounds this time. Sorry, take a long round, right? But, we saw, I decided to just pull him back a little bit before we step him up because of all the events, hand injury, death in the family, and um, he got a good win. Next time he's going to be stepped up, eight rounds, and then I would like to fight him. I like him fight end of September, October, and then one more before Christmas. Speaking about the, I mean, he's in the the welterweight division now. Here we've got Conor Ben. Like it's not hard to name the names in this division at world level. Even here in the UK, Lewis Crock is here. Conor Ben's here. I mean, the welterweight division has been the best division for decades in terms of talent. You can look at Ray Leonard, Tommy Hearns, Floyd Mayweather, Pacquiao, Crawford, Spence. So, are you excited for Paddy to be in this division? And how difficult is for it to manoeuvre him into that world level? Uh, it, it, as I said, it's difficult. He's, he is talented, but he's very young and he's still learning a lot, you know. Um, and by no means is he ready to step up anywhere near that. So, we'll just take our time. I'd like to get him the WBC youth title. If he fights in eight round the next, then get him that before Christmas. Um, that would be nice for him to have. And then just just take our time with him. You know, take our time. Is you like you say? You talk about the world level. He's my, a million miles away from that in terms of experience. But talent, I'm not sure if he is. And um, as an amateur, he was t number one or two in the world. So he was world silver medalist. So um, he's shown that he's got the talent to compete at the highest level. Just a matter of doing it in the right way. You know. Yeah. Well, Paddy's uh, he's doing all the right things in that, and he did mention the WBC that he does want to go that route. He seems like he'd be a fan of that belt, so I mean, it's, it, it, that's where the that's the toughest belt to win, I, I suppose, is it? Who's the welterweight WBC champion? I think it's Spence, Errol Spence. Oh yeah, we'll we'll take him. <laughs> we actually, I actually offered um, Sean Gibbons Paddy for Pacquiao for sparring, right. but. They had three or four guys. Um. Well, I mentioned that he did mention Josh Taylor because uh, Josh, well, there's, the, he might be fighting Jack Carroll himself, but I know Paddy can probably switch a little bit there. And how would that? Would you try and organise that? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, Jamie Moore or Ben might call me now yeah, after yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Paddy Strong, different style than them, but he would we'll give him a good look. How's the zone gig going? How's it having a microphone in your hand? I mean, a lot of people sing your praises every time you've done that punditry stuff on the side every now and again. Everyone says Andy Lee's a good analyst. He breaks down the fight, man. How are you enjoying it? I, always, I know you've only done it once, uh, but how are you enjoying it? Uh, once, it's been good, yeah. yeah. And like, I was fortunate before because I could just, I would do it like once in a blue moon and I'd come in and I was a fresh face and so no one had any bias, no, anything against me, but now I'm on weekly, regularly. Um, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people who don't agree with me or see, think I see it wrong, but I enjoy it. I hope I give a good technical insight to a fight, not just technical, but also the internal, what fighters are going through mentally and emotionally and physically. Mm. So, so you've been there and done it? And yeah, and, and you, yeah, that's it. That's I try to manual. I learn how to box from a manual. I learn how to coach from a manual. And he was a commentator, and I, hopefully I picked up some of that. Um, so yeah, that's it. Well, final one. I know you were in Vegas with Tyson in that camp and stuff like that. I mean, unfortunately, we didn't get to see the fight. Obviously, with, with Tyson getting the 
getting ill and stuff like that, but how ready was Tyson for that? I, I was with him in Texas, I was with him in Vegas in the May and, 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 and stuff like that, and he looked ready, man. He was just smiling in the face, he looked like he was, he was buzzing, he was flying, he was fit, he was healthy. When you were in Vegas with him, man, how was he? He was good, but uh, we all had COVID. Mm. Um, That's a bastard, eh? <laughs> yeah, so he wasn't too good. Um, and he might have had it before, he might have, I suspect we don't. I don't know. You can't point fingers, but maybe one of the sparring partners he got it from because he had been feeling a bit, bit, bit run down uh, before we got tested. And then once we got tested, um, he was the first person to test clear on a um, antigen test. He was the first one to test clear, so he probably had it be previous, you know, yeah. before we got it because we we were te weren't testing clear for a few days. So he was tested quite early, testing clear. So um, it seems like he's made a good. Full recovery. I feel great now, even after having it. I had about four or five days of just being really tired and yeah. run down, and he was the same. So um, yeah, that's 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 it. It was a shame. We all were sickened by yeah. it, really, because he's been along the line. It's been a long time. He's just wants to fight. Just wants to fight. That's what I said. It's February last year they fought, but we are going to get it on October. I know you're probably biasing this question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. How does Tyson win? Uh, I think he'll do it earlier than he did the first time, but I still think it's an extremely dangerous fight because Wilder will be fresh and highly motivated. Um, he'll probably be buying by having a new trainer, learning new things. He's probably, you know, enthusiastic about training now. But I, I still don't know how he's going to recover mentally from that fight. It's going to take it's like a huge effort mentally to come back from that defeat and the manner of that defeat the first time. Um, and Tyson's just such a good fighter, and his mentality is un unbelievable. He's, he's just like Tyson's. He's just a competitor. Like he's just a, he's a child in a way. Because if I said to him, "I'm going to do, I'm going to run up that mountain," he said, "Well, you're not going to beat me," you yeah, know. Yeah. And I pushed him to the point of vomiting, um, but he keeps going. You know, he keeps going. So he's just a, his mentality is unreal. And if anyone to be around him, it's such a benefit. Yeah. Well, Andy, I can hear the yeah. crowd going nuts with this Tyrone McKenna fight, so let's go and enjoy it. Let's go enjoy it. Thanks, Andy. Thank you very much, Andy. Thank you.